how to create a this .db file so this is the software db for this query okay so let's create a new in this create a new database let's say in this cities on the website and then For the table, so I will create cities table and will be to the ID and it could be auto included and other would be which is text and it's not modern. Okay, so I have the table ready. If you want to insert some data, you can just go to the table. some queries for um, getting the data, updating the data, adding a new city, updating a city name, deleting a city. So first we have get all cities. Get all cities. Select star from city, query name, and the output will be ID as an integer and the name would be as a string. Again, the other one is get city by id where i will be able to get cities by id so i will pass the id as integer and output would be name and id and new city so it would be inserted in name into cities name and value so here passing the variable city name by city same goes with the update the city name in this update city set name city name as the id so i will be updating the city name where id the for the particular id so we have to pass both id and name and the delete one is it will delete the city based on the id okay so if you can see my screen now here i have created a uh, I have taken a list view. Let me do it. Let me create a new screen for you guys. Let's see. Pages. Add page. Create a blank page. I'm just creating to show you the demo how actually you can also do it from your mind. Okay, I will create a list view. Okay. We have list view. And inside the list view, we will have our text. Now I am mapping this text with the group because I will need at least three to four elements. First text is for ID, second text would be for the name, third would be the icon. 
First of all, we have to get the query, add query, SQL query, get all the dates, and for, and for. Are coming from the well, we have created the output screen in that one, right? And the name will be different than the name. Please write down. Thanks. 